Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Stephanie, and I'm Tom. Today we're talking about the power and passion of Taiwanese baseball. This is our sports unit for today, and of course, here in Taiwan, we do have a professional baseball league. Okay,、yeah. there isn't enough. Or, well, there isn't a lot of money in this league compared to MLB in the USA, but still, it's a pretty exciting league. There are four teams, which to me seems like. Not really a lot, but、uh, hey, you do a lot with those four teams, and people go nuts over those four teams. Everybody has their favorite team, so it's certainly worth talking about, and that's what we are going to be talking about today. Yeah, I've seen a video on the news of fans and stadiums, and they look like they're really excited. They have a different way of rooting for their teams here than we do.、Uh, it looks like they have those big bats. They like to. Kind of you know wave back. Yeah, what those called thunder sticks? That's what we are referring to <laughs>、oh. those as today. Yeah, thunder sticks. Yeah. I was going to say that、uh, <laughs> you know when I was watching baseball in the United States, we heard about Japanese baseball. Yes. And the fact that the fans there get more involved in the game, they're chanting and they're playing drums and stuff like that. True. Whereas American fans are just kind of sitting there and eating popcorn and、uh, chomping down a hot dog and drinking coke and not really making a heck of a lot of noise. At least compared to the Japanese, and I think the Taiwanese do it more the way the Japanese do, with all the、yeah. noise、uh-huh. and the chanting and the drums and stuff. It's a lot more fun for the fans. Yeah, it depends on the stadium you go to in the states, though, because、uh, I would attend a lot of games,、uh, watch the Yankees when I was in New York, and you know we had times when we would all be chanting or yelling the same thing. There's a lot of yelling when someone does good things, but it's not. It's not like the The people in the stands are participating、mm. in the game, and it seems like here in Asia, you get into it, you participate a lot more. Indeed.、Yeah. So let's talk about、Fine. it here. Let's talk about the CPBL、okay. in today's program. Let's、uh, read through today's lesson right now, and then we'll be right back to talk about it. <music> Attending a baseball game in Taiwan is a bit like watching a rock concert. Fireworks extravaganza and World Cup soccer match all at the same time. As you walk inside Taoyuan International Baseball Stadium, a surge of energy pulses through your veins. Your ears ring with the sound of thousands of fans banging thunder sticks in unison while singing their favorite team's fight song. Near each dugout, vigorous cheerleaders are working the crowd into a frenzy. When a player hits a home run, a massive firework explosion is set off. Although baseball has been called America's pastime, Taiwanese fans are proving to be the sport's most passionate supporters. Taiwan's professional organization, the Chinese Professional Baseball League (CPBL), was established in 1989. The league consists of four teams: China Trust Brothers. Lamigo Monkeys, EDA Rhinos, and Uni President Seven Eleven Lions. Over the course of each season, each team plays 240 games. To spice things up, the CPBL divides a season into two halves, and the winners from each half season face off in a seven-game playoff in the Taiwan series. Once a team is crowned as the champion. It moves on to compete against the top teams from China, Japan, South Korea, and Australia for another potential title in the Asia series. The CPBL features a mix of up-and-coming Taiwanese stars and a handful of talented foreign players. Legendary stars such as Chen Qinfeng have emerged from the league. In 2002, he became the first Taiwan-born player to play professional baseball in the U.S. Another talent, Lin Zhisheng, is also a fan favorite after leading Taiwan's national team to victory in games against Japan and Cuba. Whatever your plans are this summer, be sure to see a CPBL game in Taiwan. It's a Grand Slam experience that is guaranteed to lift your spirits and leave you cheering for more. Okay, guys, let's、uh, look at the first paragraph there. 
Uh, it says attending a baseball game in Taiwan is a bit like watching a rock concert. If you've been to a rock concert, you know that people get kind of crazy. They sing along, they stand, they dance.、Uh, they're just really into it. It also could be like watching a fireworks extravaganza. An extravaganza is a word we use when you have some sort of Really special or spectacular form of entertainment or production you're watching. Wow, you know they pull out all the stops, which means they do everything they can to make it as、uh, memorable and、uh, spectacular as possible. So,、uh, you've been to some of the firework shows here in Taiwan. They're pretty cool. The one that we had at New Year's this last year it looked like the. One o one building was on fire. There、wow. were so many fireworks. I was going to say yes.、Uh, oftentimes we re- refer to that as a fireworks display.、Uh-huh. Uh, that's the most common term. But if it's really spectacular, you can go ahead and say an extravaganza, or it could be a fireworks show. I've heard that too. Okay,、yeah. very good. So yes, indeed, if you watch a baseball game in Taiwan, it could be like a rock concert, a fireworks extravaganza, and a World Cup soccer match all at the same time. Of course, you can imagine. And the excitement that goes along with World Cup soccer games. I really can't. I don't watch soccer. You're not much of a soccer fan. <laughs> Most Americans aren't. But if you're from other parts of the world, oh, people just go nuts. They love it.、Uh, especially the South Koreans. They just love it when their team makes it to the World Cup. They、mm. just go crazy. So yes, it's going to be a wild experience if you go to a game in Taiwan. Now, as you walk inside,、uh, for example, the Taoyuan International Baseball Stadium. A surge of energy pulses through your veins.、Oh, this is one particular place where these baseball games take place. There、mm. are different stadiums all over Taiwan. I think the Uni President Lions are based in Tainan, for example.、Ah. But、uh, I don't know which team plays out in Taoyuan here. But in any case, this is a big stadium, and when you walk in, you feel this surge of energy, which is going to be pulsing through your veins. A surge in something is just a Sudden, powerful、uh, movement forward or upward—a surge in water, for example, that comes from floods, or a surge of energy in this case. Or sometimes we have a surge of electricity. That's why we need to use those power strips, so that will protect our computers in case there is a power surge. Yeah, if there's a power surge in your computers plugged in at the time, it could destroy your computer. That's why we use those surge protectors.、Mm. Yeah, I have one in my home too.、Um, so it's just really pretty exciting when you talk about something pulsing through your veins. If you、uh, feel your wrist right now with your fingertip, you can hear your heartbeat. Right, that's your pulse. So when something's pulsing, it's kind of this rhythmic movement that. You're feeling the music. The beat of the music can pulse through your veins, and your vein is, of course, that little、uh, tube inside your body that carries the blood away from your heart that feeds the rest of your body. Now, your ears ring with the sound of thousands of fans banging. Thunder sticks. I was calling them big bats <laughs> before we started.、Mm. I didn't know what you called them. If you bang something, you hit it really hard. And it makes a noise. Bang, bang, bang.、Uh, as kids, we used to use that sound effect to pretend we were like the police, you know, and we have a gun and we say, "Bang, bang, you're dead."、Mm. So banging or hitting their thunder sticks in unison. In unison means you do it all together. It can be pretty exciting if you've been to a baseball game. Came here in Taiwan, and you hear all those fans yelling and banging their thunder sticks together. Also, they're singing their favorite team's fight song. I didn't know they had their own fight song. When we were growing up,、uh, junior highs and high school, we'd have a mascot, some sort of animal or creature that represented the school, and a fight song too.、Mm. And we'd all learn that song, and it was supposed to be sung at athletic events so we could show our support and enthusiasm for our teams. They do that here too. Yep,、uh, I remember. I went to the University of Iowa, and their、uh-huh. fight song was "We're Going to Fight, Fight, Fight for Iowa." But da 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 da. Okay, so the one、song. at BYU is "Rise and Shout, the Cougars are out." 
Okay. That was fun too. That's a fight song. Yeah. So indeed, every team here in the CPBL probably has their own fight song、yeah. that everybody knows by heart, and they sing it every time everybody gets to sing the song. Very fun. And if you're playing baseball, of course, all the players are in what is called a dugout,、mm-hmm. which is a part of the stadium that is、uh, sheltered. It's got a roof over it, and it's lower because it's been dug out.、Mm-hmm. Uh, the ground has been dug out, so the players are a little bit. Below Below、uh, the level of the field, I guess, so they can see better. So near each dugout, we've got these vigorous cheerleaders. Vigorous means they're full of life, they're strong, they're healthy, and of course they're young and pretty. Of course, you're not going to be fat and ugly and get a job as a cheerleader in the CPBL. You need not apply. So in any case, yes, these cheerleaders are vigorous and they're working the crowd into a frenzy.、Mm. A state of frenzy is just being. Uncontrolled and excited and wild about something. You could be worked into a frenzy, usually about a sports game, but there are other ways to be worked into a frenzy. But most of the times, it's like a sports game. Now, when a player hits a home run, a massive firework explosion is set off. Interesting. That's pretty exciting.、Mm. Uh, most teams who、um, are playing home games, they have something special that happens when a player hits a home run. From the home team, I know in New York, for example, the Mets they have this big apple that goes up and down when a player hits a home run because you know it's New York, the big apple. Well,、mm. here some of the teams they have these firework explosions that are set off. An explosion, of course, is when something explodes, when something blows up or blows apart. Bombs can explode. Your temper can also explode if you set. Suddenly, lose your temper and start yelling at someone. They could describe that as your temper was exploding. He exploded at me. So this is an explosion that's set off when someone hits a home run, which is exciting. And although baseball has been called America's pastime, what we do when we're not working is called our pastime, our hobbies, our pastime. Hey, what's your what's your favorite pastime? Me? Yeah. What is yours? Uh, I guess uh, exercising. I suppose、yeah. playing soccer or what. Ever, bicycling. bicycling, he loves to ride his bike. What,、yeah. Listening to music and stuff、yeah. like that. But America's pastime, their favorite way to pass the time is watching baseball. Although I don't think that's so much true anymore. I think it's、anymore. football now. Yeah, I think people like American football more. Yeah. But、uh, Taiwanese fans are proving to be the sport's most passionate supporters. True. If you're passionate about something, you have strong feelings about that. A strong belief. You're passionate about world peace, for example.、Mm. That's why you work for some charity. Or something like that. I'm passionate about that. Well, that brings us to the midway point. We're going to listen now to our Chinese teacher. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hello, everyone. My name is Tina. 今天的主题是我们的中华职棒。我们首先来看到在第一段的第二个句子提到 ，As you walk inside Taoyuan International Baseball Stadium, a surge of energy pulses through your veins. 在这里呢，我们要看一下它的动词是 pause 这个字，解释成为拍打跟震动的意思。我们有时候说呢，会让人热血沸腾，就可以说这个 blood 是 pulsing through his veins。我们来做一个句子。这个消息使得他热血沸腾，你就可以说 The news sent the blood pulsing through his veins. 在这里提到的是走进桃园国际棒球场，你会发现有 a surge of energy， 一股上升的能量就在血管当中脉动着。A surge 在这里当做名词，则是指着情感的汹涌或翻腾。譬如说，一阵的焦虑，你就可以说 a surge of anxiety， 或者突如其来的一阵强烈的情绪，我们就可以说 a surge of emotions。接着，我们再来看到后面的句子提到 ，Your ears ring with the sound of thousands of fans banging thunder sticks in unison while singing their favorite team's fight song. 在这里，我们可以学到很多跟棒球相关的术语。首先是听到呢，在这里看到的加油棒，我们可以称之为 thunder sticks。他们会呢。
敲打着加油棒。In unison, 其实就是有一起的意思。同时，举个例子 ，the audience were clapping and stamping in unison. 指的呢，就是这些观众们齐声的拍手并跺着脚。所以你会看到大家呢，粉丝敲打着加油棒加油，而且唱着他们最爱队伍的。战歌在这里，英文就称之为 fight song. We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Okay, let's continue with our lesson today. We're talking about Taiwanese baseball. More specifically, we're talking about the CPBL.、Mm. Now, that's what Taiwan's professional organization is—the Chinese Professional Baseball League, or CPBL. It was established way back. In 1989, and the league consists of four teams. Okay, to consist of that just means that's what it contains. Okay, that is what makes it up, or the things that form it. Okay,、mm -hmm. so indeed we've got four teams there, and we've always had four teams, but they seem to change quite often. The team will be the same, but it will change its name, or a team will fold, and then a new team will take its place. There have been various teams. Over the years, I remember the Weichuan Dragons, and there was the team from Lanu, the Lanu Shoe Company. Oh, I remember company. that. Yeah. But nowadays, we've got the China Trust Brothers, which used to be the Brother Hotel Elephants. Yeah. And we've got the Lamigo Monkeys, the EDA Rhinos, and the Uni President Seven Eleven Lions. Okay, so those are the current four teams that make up or consist. Or that's what the CPBL consists of now. Interesting. Now, over the course of each season, each team plays two hundred and forty games, which is a lot of games.、Mm. Uh, a season in the MLB is one hundred and eighty-two games. So this、wow. is a lot of games. These guys are probably really sore and tired at the end of seasons. Now, to spice things up, if you spice something up, guys, you make it more exciting. A spice is like putting oh ginger, cinnamon. Bay leaves, something like that, into what you're cooking to make it taste better, have a more interesting flavor. But here, to make things more exciting, the CPBL they divide the season into two halves. So they take that 240 games and they split it in half to 120, and they have the winners from each half season. Notice how we're writing that half season. Face off, or confront, or play each other. If it's a face off, two competitors are battling each other or competing against each other, and they do this in a seven-game playoff in the Taiwan series. So there are seven games, and whoever wins. Four games first is the playoff winner. That's how they do it here, at least. It's a best of seven series、yep. here, and it's a playoff. Usually, playoffs are something that's done before the final series. And once a team is crowned as the champion, it moves on to compete against. Other top teams、mm. in other countries here in Asia. It's going to compete or play against teams from China, from Japan, South Korea, and Australia.、Yeah. Those are teams here in Asia where baseball is played pretty regularly here, and they do this for a possible or potential title in the Asia series. So, if it's potential, that means it's quite possible that it's going to happen. Yeah, it is. It's kind of exciting. Now, the CPBL features a mix of up and coming Taiwanese stars. If you're up and coming, it means you're not famous yet, but you're getting some publicity.、Mm -hmm. Looks like you're a rising star. We could also say a mix of rising Taiwanese stars. So you're not extremely famous yet, but 
people see you as a potential big star in the future. It's also a mix of a handful of talented foreign players. A lot of the players from Japan, or I don't even know if the Japanese players come over so much, but the Americans come over. I know from the MLB. Sometimes maybe they've had an injury and they're rehabbing, and they want to have some practice. They'll they'll be signed over here, or at the end of a career, some of the big big names have、uh, signed with some of the Taiwanese teams here. That's kind of fun. A handful just means you know four or five. Look at your hand. How many fingers? How much can you put in that palm? That's a handful, and I think they have a quota or a limitation、oh. of foreign players that they can have on each team. I don't know exactly the rules. See, of and that. that protects the local players. Sh- sure,、yeah. why not? So otherwise, it might be dominated by nothing but MLB players. We don't want that. Who knows?、No. Yes, and we've also got some、uh, local talent who have made it to the big time.、Yay! Legendary stars such as Chen Chinfeng. I hope I said his name right. I think it's Gene, probably. Gene Feng. Okay, that's a good guess. I'm not sure. I'm not really a good fan of baseball. Baseball, I should be, but in any case, these players have emerged from the league. To emerge just means to come out into view after you have been hidden. Okay, to emerge from the crowd, for example, if suddenly you become famous, like a lot of people have. Or sometimes it'll be a cloudy day, and suddenly the sun will emerge from behind a cloud. Oh, and it feels so much better. Well,、uh, that's pretty exciting. Now, in two thousand two. Chen became the first Taiwan-born player to play professional baseball in the U.S. That was a big moment, and of course, when I first came back to Taiwan ten years ago. Wang Jianming was playing with the Yankees, which was exciting for me. Yes, he's still playing. A, I don't know. Kind of lost he's, track. He's of back、him. in the states. Yeah. Okay. Now it was exciting because every game he pitched was on TV, so I got to see my Yankees a lot. It was wonderful, and he was great. Now another talent was Lin Jisung.、Uh, he's also a fan favorite. He led Taiwan's national team to victory in games against Japan and Cuba. Both of those countries have very good baseball teams. Yeah, Cuba is real hard to beat, especially and Japan. Of course,、uh, baseball is a national pastime there as well. They take it seriously in Japan and Cuba. Now, whatever your plans are this summer, no matter what you have planned, be sure to see a CPBL game in Taiwan. I need to go out there and actually see one.、Um, I'm wondering if they'll use that new stadium that's being built on Guangfu Nanlu. If they'll、uh, have one of the teams play there. Yeah, you know? I, I don't know if that's designed for baseball. It's sure a lot closer to my apartment than Taoyuan. Yeah, But, well, you、uh, don't want to run all the way up to Tianmu either. I think some games are played up there. Oh, I know there, some are there. Yeah, that's right. On Zhongchenglu there in Tianmu. Yeah, it's kind of far from me too.、Uh, well, you could probably take the MRT up there, but、uh, the nearest station is still pretty far from there. So,、uh, yeah, you might be able to take a bus up there. But in any case, yes, there are lots of opportunities to see CPBL games in Taiwan. After all, they play quite a few games during the year,、they、and、do. tickets are probably not all that expensive. Good, and it's probably a good way to、uh, enjoy an evening with your family or your friends.、Uh-huh. Go nuts and cheer for your team. I don't know what kind of food they serve at those baseball stadiums, but I'm sure they've got lots of tasty treats and drinks and stuff like that. Yeah, and it's a grand slam experience that is guaranteed to lift your spirits and leave you cheering for more. Yeah. Yeah. So indeed, when somebody hits a grand slam home run, that means there are three players on base, first, second, and third. And if it's a home run at that time, the team gets four home runs. So that's a grand slam. But also, we're using grand slam here as an adjective to describe something that is really, really exciting, especially if it has something to do with baseball. It's a grand slam experience. It's a wonderful experience, and it's guaranteed to lift your spirit. If something's guaranteed, that means somebody is backing up their promise, and if they don't keep their promise, they're going to have to pay you some money, or they're going to have to get down on their knees and apologize. That's right. I just had to go buy an air purifier from my apartment, and one of the questions I asked was, "Is there a guarantee on this particular、uh, machine?" 
And there was a one-year guarantee, which means if something breaks, they will replace it within a year. That's wonderful, and that、uh, is very, very comforting if you buy something that's that expensive. Yeah. Too bad it's not a lifetime guarantee. I know. But in any case, yes, this is guaranteed to lift your spirits, which means to make you happy, and you'll be cheering for more. I want to go see another game and another and another. This is really great. My life has totally changed because of the CP. BL, thank you very much. Okay, that brings us to the end of our lesson for today. Here comes a great baseball fan, our Chinese teacher. 第二段呢，要介绍的则是台湾的职棒的组织，这英文称之为 the Chinese Professional Baseball League， 我们简称为 CPBL。在第二段的第二个句子提到。The league consists of four teams: China Trust Brothers, Lamigo Monkeys, Ida Rhinos, and Unit President Seven Eleven Lions. 这四支队伍呢，组成了这样子的联盟。在英文里面，我们说什么是由什么为组成的？在英文里面就可以用的片语是 consist of。要注意哦，在这里是用主动的方式来表达。举一个例子来说 ，The committee consists of ten members. 这个委员会是由十个会员所组成的。而我们常常看到 consist of 又可以等于被动态的 be made up of， 或者是 be composed of， 都是有。以什么为组成的意思？而我们在这里在看到这个组织呢之后，他们要比赛。然后在这一段的最后一一个句子提到 ，Once a team is crowned as the champion, it moves on to compete against the top teams from China, Japan, South Korea, and Australia for another potential title in the Asia Series. 只要这支队伍呢封冠之后，那么他就会继续跟来自中国、日本、南韩跟澳洲的顶尖队伍来竞争，那么争取的就是另外一个可能的冠军头衔。在这里，我们先来看一下这里的动词 crown， 本来是皇冠的意思，当做动词则是有加冕或者是封王，所以一旦呢在这个联盟拿到冠军。就可以跟其他国家的队伍相比较，而后面有一个形容词 potential， 则是解释成为潜在的或是可能的意思。比如说，我们常听到人家提到的 potential investors， 指的就是潜在的投资者。而其实中华职棒也出现了很多的台湾的球星，在这里我们首先看到的是第三段第二个句子提到的 legendary stars such as 陈金峰 have emerged from the league。在这里提到的是陈金峰，而 emerge 当做动词，则是有浮现或者是显露的意思。举个例子来说，月亮从云层后面露脸了出来，我们就可以说 the moon emerged from behind a cloud。而这一段后面还提到，那么 whatever your plans are this summer， be sure to see a CPBL game in Taiwan。It's a Grand Slam experience that is guaranteed to lift your spirits and leave you cheering for more. 在这里后面的两句，首先我们看到倒数第二句 whatever， 其实在这里就可以等于 no matter what。不论你今年暑假的计划是什么，一定要去看一场中华职棒的比赛，保证呢可以提振你的精神，然后让你欢呼，能够期待更多。我们来看一下 guarantee 这个动词，在这里是有保证的意思。而后面的 leave somebody 再加上形容词以 v i n g 的方式来表达，就是指使某人处于怎么样的状态。OK， 以上就是今天的课文讲解，谢谢收听。Thanks for joining us, everybody. We hope that you get behind one of the four teams here in Taiwan, 
and do your best to cheer them on to wins this season. For English Digest, I'm Stephanie, and I'm Tom. Goodbye.、Bye.